Hey, Olivia, what are we going to draw today? A caterpillar. A caterpillar. We hope you're going to follow along with us. We're going to keep this lesson nice and simple, and we're going to use shapes, circles. What do we need for this lesson? What are these called? Crayons. Crayons, yeah. And we're going to use red, green, and what's this color in the middle? Black. Black, yeah. And you also need some paper. You ready to start? Yes. Okay, we're first going to use our red crayon, and we're going to draw a circle for the head on our caterpillar. We're going to draw a circle like this. I draw a circle over here, close to this side of the paper. A little circle. Yes! Then, oh yeah, you already know what we're going to do. <laughs> we're going to color it in. In this part, we're going to fast forward, but you guys at home can pause the video and take time to color your red circles. We're going to put that off to the side and we're going to use our green crayon. We're going to draw another circle right next to the red circle and we want to make sure that they touch. We're going to draw it like this. See how that green circle touches the red circle. Do you want to try drawing a circle the same size? There you go. It's touching. And then, yeah, color that one in too. Now we're going to add another circle. I like that your circles are different than mine. We're going to add one more circle right next to it. Do you want to do another circle? And you can color that one in too. Should we do one more circle? Yes. Okay, this one I'm going to draw a little smaller, kind of like your circles. Mm -hmm. I'm going to color it in too. And then, do you want to draw one more circle also? We finished drawing our circles. We're going to put our green crayon off to the side and we're going to switch to our black crayon. And how many circles do we have? One. Two. Oh, and two circles. Yeah, we have a few more. One, two, three, three, four. Four. Do you have four too? One. You count them. One, two, three, four. Yeah, good job. I love your circles. Okay, now let's draw two more circles for the eyes on the red head. <laughs> One and two. Do you want to also add a smile? Oh, that's perfect. I'm going to add a smile too. Here we go. A little curve down at the bottom. Now we also need to draw two lines coming out of our caterpillar. That's for the antenna. Good job. Now what's our caterpillar missing? Down here on the bottom. A um, leg. Yeah, legs. <laughs> Let's draw lots of legs. I'm going to draw three lines on each circle. Like that. Yeah, and then three on that one, or four. There you go, three, and then another three. Two, three. Olivia, we did it, give me five. You did such a great job on drawing and coloring your cute caterpillar. Did you have fun? Yes. We had four circles, and we also used our black crayon to add the face and a lot of legs. They crawl all over plants, don't they? Yeah. Yeah. And they eat plants. <laughs> they eat plants too, huh? Lots of plants. Yeah. Drawing cat feather. Yeah, we do. We hope you had a lot of fun. And remember, it's okay if your drawings look different than ours because the most important thing is and to have fun. Yeah, and, and to, to practice. And to practice. And we'll see you later, our friends. Goodbye. Goodbye. Hey, parents and teachers, take a photo of your child's finished artwork and post it on Facebook or Instagram. Also, be sure to tag us in it at Art for Kids Hub. Did you know that we also have a website? You can find it at artforkidshub.com. It has more lessons and information about art supplies we love to use. You can also visit artforkidshub.tv to learn more about our awesome Art Hub membership. The membership includes exclusive lessons and our own apps so your child can learn art in a focused, distraction-free environment.